parable of the sower. Have you ever questioned, asked yourself, where am I with God? Kind of done an assessment of your spiritual journey, wherever that journey is. And if you're a believer in this Christian story, this journey, have you ever asked yourself, am I doing this well enough, God? Am I okay with this life that I'm living? Is it fruitful, my one and only life that you have? Am I making enough of a difference? It is an important question. I want my life to count. I'm sure you want your life to count. And if you're living a life before God kind of life, then you want it to count for God to some great degree, for His purpose and glory. So the question this morning is, how is that going for you? How's God's life in you playing out? Jesus once told a parable that made clear that there are a variety of responses and answers to that question. He said, what do you make of this? A farmer planted seed. And as he scattered the seed, some of it fell on the road, and birds ate it. Some fell in the gravel. It sprouted quickly, but didn't put down roots, so when the sun came up, it withered just as quickly. Some fell in the weeds. As it came up, it was strangled by the weeds. And some fell on good earth and produced a harvest beyond his wildest dreams. Are you listening to this? Really listening? What do you make of that little story of Jesus? After he told that story, his disciples who were with him came up to him and asked him, why do you tell stories like that? And Jesus responded this way, He replied, you've been given insight into God's kingdom. You know how it works. Not everyone has this gift, this insight. It hasn't been given to them. Whenever someone has a ready heart for this, the insights and understandings flow freely. But if there's no readiness, any trace of receptivity soon disappears. That's why I tell stories, he said, to create readiness, to nudge the people toward receptive insight. In their present state, they can stare till doomsday and not see it, listen till they're blue in the face and not get it. I don't want Isaiah's forecast, the prophet, to be repeated over again. And then he quotes the forecast. Your ears are open, but you don't hear a thing. Your eyes are awake, but you don't see a thing. The people are blockheads. They stick their fingers in their ears so they won't have to listen. They screw their eyes shut so they won't have to look, so they won't have to deal with me, God, face to face, and let me heal them. And then Jesus turns to his disciples and says, But you have God-blessed eyes, eyes that see, and God-blessed ears, ears that hear. A lot of people, prophets and humble believers among them, would have given anything to see what you're seeing to hear what you're hearing, but they never had the chance. So reading those words this week, I had to ask myself, you know, am am I a blockhead or am I God-blessed? Do my eyes see or am I these blind fools that the prophet points to? Do I hear you, God? Do I really get what life before God, what your kingdom is all about? Am I receptive to the truth in this, even this little parable that you spoke? Am I receptive to your truth in all of the parables that you're speaking in my life every day? Is this story nudging me into a place where I really know who you are and what your kingdom is all about. 
Now, this is one of a very few number of Jesus' parables that he actually explains the meaning of too. So I reckon, I reckon, because I'm now in Calgary, I think <laughs> that he must have explained it for a reason. This is important, the truth that this little parable holds. He said this, study this story of the farmer planting seed. When anyone hears the news of the kingdom and doesn't take it in, it just remains on the surface, and so the evil one comes along and plucks it right out of that person's heart. This is the seed the farmer scatters on the road. The seed cast in gravel, this is the person who hears and instantly responds with enthusiasm, but there's no soil of character. And so when the emotions wear off and some difficulty arrives, there's nothing to show for it. The seed cast in the weeds is the person who hears the kingdom news, but weeds of worry and illusions about getting more and wanting everything under the sun strangle what was heard, and nothing comes of it. And the seed cast on good earth is the person who hears and takes in the good news and then produces a harvest beyond his wildest dreams. So, which seed do you want to be this morning? And actually, that's not the right question. The right question is, which soil condition are you? The seed in the story isn't the problem. The seed has all it needs. The seed is symbolic of God's word, God's truth, spoken by God, authored by God. It's perfect. It's complete. It's genetically whole. It has the innate ability to create huge harvests depending on the condition of the soil into which it's planted. Parables nudge us. They till the soil of your, your life, your being, your psyche. They fertilize your imagination. Somehow through the aha of a parable, God's spirit enters in. They aerate our souls. He made you to find your reason for being through the growing of his seed in you. The question is, are you listening? Are you really listening? 